Jack, many, many congratulations. Biggest win of your life. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, to beat Neil uh, in the World Championship in such a venue and in front of such a crowd. Um, yes, um, a big win. And it's turning into a really, <coughs> truly dazzling debut. And I think the, the thing that's most impressive about it you haven't seemed to have lost your composure at any time, either when you were playing Barry in the last qualifying round to get here, same with Carter in the first round, beat two former finalists, and then even with that big lead when you could start doubting yourself, you didn't. You, you, you've been so strong mentally. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, yeah, I, I, I did feel calm. I felt calm since the beginning. Um, before, before the tournament started, I didn't know uh, or have any idea how I was going to feel. Um, going out there, but um, yeah, I felt surprisingly calm and um, enjoying it, actually. And, and, and you can tell. And there was a, yeah, a really impressive section of the match. Of course, you got off to a blistering start, 3-0. Yeah. Robbo got in for a frame just before the mid-sesh. Then he comes out for a piece. And then the start yesterday, he knocks in a century for 5-4, and people start thinking, oh, well, Jack's had his moment, and now Robbo's going to pull away. And then you won six frames without reply. That's where you did the real damage. Yeah, I suppose that was what won me the match in the end. Um, but I felt really good going into the evening session yesterday. Um, when I was practicing, I, I felt like felt good. Um, so it's nice to be able to take that out into the arena um, and and play well out there as well. So um, uh, yeah, it was yeah it was it was a good session. And have you always, in terms of your personality, have you always been quite a calm person? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm not the most um, outlandish or angry person in the world. Um, uh, my, none of my family are really either. So, um, yeah, I just uh, try and take it as it comes and um, keep going. And were you, were you getting a, a little flutter of adrenaline as, in, in that final frame when, when you got towards the line and you started thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be in the last eight of the World Championship? Um, no, I, no, I didn't. I felt really good actually as I got closer to the winning line. Um, I felt a bit nervy at the beginning of the session. Um, I missed the red in the middle that um, didn't really help my nerves uh, to go 11-6 and Neil uh, really punished me. Um, so, uh, but I won a crucial second frame of the, the day which uh, relaxed me um, and, and uh, yeah, held myself together uh, good in the end. And now you turn your attention to taking on this season's most decorated performer, Mark Allen, back in the quarters for the first time in five years, reigning UK champion, won Northern Ireland again and, and won the World Grand Prix. So, you know, you're going to have to do it all over again if you're to get to the fabled single table setup. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mark's, like, like I said, the best, the best player of the season, um, obviously playing extremely well. Um, Neil was playing extremely well as well, and I suppose so was Ali Carter playing well before, before the tournament. So um, they're all extremely difficult matches, um, whoever whoever I play or, or whatever. So um, I'll just um, try my best and see where it takes me. And I know there was loose talk on Twitter about introducing you as the beard who's revered, uh, which we decided against. Shall we stick with Silent Assassin? I can't really think of anything better, can you? I can't think of anything better either. Um, yeah, you can stick with it if you want. Well, listen, if you do have a change of heart or a sudden brainwave, uh, come and find me because yeah. I'll be happy to, uh, happy to change it. It's going to be a fantastic occasion, richly deserved. There's not many debutants reached the last eight first time out. Many, many congratulations. All right, thanks, Rob. Cheers, mate.